Tiny Badgers. Okay, so Amazon random finds. <laughs> uh, I wanted to start with this one because uh, I wanted to try to get this one done for Easter, so I definitely want it recorded and ready to go to work on pretty soon. Nothing wildly crazy about it. I just thought it was cute. It's a little bunny who's <laughs> uh, sort of being overwhelmed by a uh, diamond dotted egg, Easter egg. Uh, there, it looks like there's a little bit of cherry blossom maybe uh, up here. I don't know if I can get a really good shot of... Um, there we go. You can kind of see there. Uh, it looks like there might be butterflies up in there. This looks like it's a little bit of the older, uh, more pixelated style of printing, so it's kind of harder to tell on some of this stuff. But he's just cute. Uh, I, I liked the idea that there's a bunch of different dots on the egg. Um, I thought this one also might lend well to customizing with ABs. That's Ziggy over there in the background. <laughs> Yellow jig. That's my old, old, old dog. <laughs> um, I guess I was away too long. He started looking for me. Anyway, uh, this is the color palette we're working with. It looks like there's some bright pink, some light pink, some of that, you know, what I call army green style. Uh, I was a military kid growing up, so that's what I always think of that as. Uh, some muted sort of creamy whites, some sort of aqua blues for the background, I'm guessing. There is some, um, I don't know, I wouldn't say that's quite a jewel tone green, but it's got a nice, uh, nice shade to it. It looks like there's a little bit of gray for, I'm guessing, there's not a lot of shading, so I'm guessing it's probably on up here and down here for the flowers or whatever those are. <laughs> um, I don't know if this one, no, it does come with DMCs. Okay. So there's a tiny bit of 310 in here. Uh, so, and then some naturally some pale yellow for a spring scene. I'm guessing that's going to go in all these dots. So yeah, I just thought that was a cute one for Easter coming up. Let's move some around here. This one here, uh, this is a kit that I originally saw. It was one of the first kits I think I ever saw when I started, you know, doing my first little round of discovering what diamond painting was and looking through Amazon and going that whole route when you first get started. Uh, I think this is one of the first images I ever saw and I thought, oh yeah, that's cute. And then I kind of sat on it and then it it, it, I didn't pull the trigger as far as purchasing it. And then it ended up selling out and then I couldn't find it for ages. And then just like last month, I randomly happened to come across it again on Amazon. I wasn't looking for it. It just sort of popped up in something else I was looking for. And I was like, Oh no shit. <laughs> uh, so I decided to grab it again or for the first time and um not pass by it again I, I don't know maybe for nostalgia's sake of like oh yeah that one uh this one i i may customize this one i don't know i'll just have to fill it out, feel it out uh when i go to work on it and see what i'm inspired to do uh so this one i was trying to see if there's dmc's on the bags it doesn't look like there are oh. Huh, that's weird. I thought I saw a 310. Did y'all see that? Yeah, like back there. You can see 310. So, I don't know, maybe some of them have DMCs on the back. Oh, no, 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 there's the DMC right there. For some reason, I was mistaking that for the canvas number. So, yeah, I guess it does have DMCs on the back, DMC on the canvas. Uh... See, I didn't actually open any of these up, so I don't know how easy this will do to be one-handed now. Um, also, if you're watching my videos recently, please excuse whatever my hands look like. Uh, not only is it winter and I just naturally have 
<laughs> sort of crone looking hands during the winter like everybody does but also uh, I have autoimmune disease which trashes my skin um, so it takes me a while to get it back to looking nice sometimes so if you see them red and rough looking it's probably either one of those or a combination anyway side note so let's see um yeah, some more pale yellows. I'm guessing that's going to be in this one. Some browns, probably for the background. Some grays. Uh, some oranges. Where is the orange going to go? Oh, the orange is probably going to be at the bottom of the glasses. Or the bowls, whatever you want to call them. Uh, some pinks and burgundies. A little bit of blue, I'm guessing, for up there. Some pale pink, it looks like. So, yeah. Pretty much what it looks like for that palette. <laughs> also, pretty much what it looks like for the palette. Uh, this is another random one I came across. Uh, there are DMCs. I don't count how many colors there are, but you can feel free to count them there. Not too many, but probably more than you might expect by just looking at this. Uh, but yeah, I just thought this was, it's simple, but this was one that I was looking at that I thought I could probably do a little bit of cool customization with this. Um, I don't know what exactly yet. I may put some like white ABs up here. I have some orange ABs I could work into that. I might put some oil slick ABs up into the mountains. I don't know. But when I got this one, I think it was only like three bucks <laughs> for this canvas. So I thought for three bucks, I could experiment with it a little bit and come out with something cool. So yeah, as it looks like there, it's pretty much a bunch of dark blues with a little bit of light blue, probably around the wave crests there. Uh, some of that minty white green color, a little bit of the lighter blues. Um, oh, there's a surprising lavender color. I'm guessing, where would that go? Oh, okay, I see. There's a little bit mixed into the wave there. That's probably where that lavender color is going to go. And then some blues for the um, darker parts of the hills and, and waves and stuff. And then that is the sort of reddish orange for the moon, <laughs> blood moon, I guess. Uh, so yeah, I just thought that one was cool. This one is a Beatles inspired one. Um, you've probably seen variations of this image all over the place, but I liked this one. I have a different version of this. Uh, it's a little bit bigger and I think it actually includes the whispered words of wisdom part. This one just says, let it be. Uh, but the, the other one I have is more just like a blue green color on the lips. So I was kind of interested in the fact that this one had a little bit more of galaxy look to it. There's a little bit more variation on the actual lips and the peace signs in different colors, the let it be in different colors. Um, there's a little bit of like almost a uh, Aurora Borealis inspired look here. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot more, I don't know, interest, I guess. <laughs> but I thought it would be a cool companion piece to the one I already have. Uh, and this one has a pretty fun color palette since there's all these sort of rainbow like colors. So there's some really bright teal greens, some bright pops of pink, naturally some darker blues for the backgrounds, but also some peachy tones for the hands, some yellows, um, some of that kind of orange sickle orange, <laughs> I guess you would call it, uh, and then some more muted ones in the background. But what I was thinking with this one is that because it's a galaxy type print, this one would be really cool to work some of my metallic ABs into and, and see to make it pop out even more how that would turn out. So I'm excited to see how this one turns out down the road. And also, uh, I have, I'm starting to have a collection of different canvases that have various, uh, song lyrics worked into the art and um at some point this year it is my goal <laughs> for anyone that didn't get the news um 
let's see uh for any of you that used to watch my other channel and uh saw the videos i used to do with barry barry and i are not romantically together anymore uh so i'm in the process of not only moving house but also moving state and doing all that stuff and you know re-identifying myself as not <laughs> his person anymore uh so yeah i have all these ideas of what i want my new space to look like with new energy and all that stuff and one of the things i wanted to do is i found a lot of things that have song lyrics worked into the art so eventually i will have a wall of song lyric art somewhere in my house so this will be part of that anyway tangent for any of you that uh, used to know me on my other channel, which is still over there. It's just under a different name. It's it's like a whole process to disconnect myself from the old Angie. So anyway, uh, this is another one that I found that I, <laughs> I had to get him because not only is Lilo and Stitch one of my favorite Disney movies, but I am a big history nerd. So it seemed like an obvious buy for me to get the... American Revolution stitch, which is, I don't think is really a thing, but I don't care. He's a thing now and I love him. <laughs> uh, so yeah, probably going to be a 4th of July project, obviously. Um, if I remember where I put him by then, <laughs> cause you know, I don't know, all my stuff is kind of all over my house right now as I figure out what to get rid of and what to box and all of that kind of stuff. And it's a long ass process to, financially and romantically disconnect yourself from somebody you've been with for over a decade uh, for any of you that have been there <laughs> uh, but yeah um this one uh again probably a lot of blues and browns there's some there's like a interesting sort of purpley pinkish gray color in there i'm not sure that oh okay that might go up in his ears here i'm guessing um, some greens for the ground, typical blues for stitch color, which I don't see in here, but I'm guessing they're in the middle somewhere. Um, some purples, I'm guessing for the darker parts of Stitch's ear. But this is another one that I thought would be kind of fun to customize a little bit, not go crazy with it, because I think it's going to be cute enough the way it is. But I don't know, maybe add a, a few metallic blues in his coat and maybe usually when I do flag images, I, I tend to work in at least a few metallic ones just to or AB ones just to make it pop out a little bit more. But this one also has the DMCs uh, and I'll give you a close-up image there. He's so damn cute. Stitch is the best. Okay, and then last but definitely not least, I got another Golden Girls one because when I was a kid, this was probably one of my mom's top shows. And I have so many memories of being curled up in my mom's bed watching Golden Girls with her whenever she was sad. <laughs> or not sad, sometimes we would just have like mother-daughter time where she's like let's watch golden girls and I'm like okay and we'd get like snacks and sit in bed and watch golden girls <laughs> um and that that started from the time I was really little I think when I was little it was already in syndication um but that's just one of those like nostalgic memories I have from from a kid like you know bonding with my mom over the golden girls and all that and it we still talked about it when I was an adult um she passed away a few years ago but uh it's still something that you know I, I have more memories of so I still have and it to this day if you watch golden girls it's still one of the funniest shows that's ever been on tv um I can't watch one of those episodes and not crack up like every time it's on so whenever I see Golden Girls stuff, I'm a little bit hesitant to buy the, the smaller Golden Girls prints that actually have the images of the actual people because when they translate to diamond drills, the detail tends to get lost. But these ones that look like more Funko Pop figures, they tend to come out a little bit better. Uh, I have one other one. I haven't done it, but the image is still really nice and sharp. I think the other one I have says, uh, friends or thank you for being a friend, something like that, you know, the typical saying for them. Uh, 
and then this one, I thought I've seen different variations of the stay golden idea, but I liked that this one actually had the palm trees sort of shadowed in the background. I thought that was really cute. And then these like sort of ocean waves in the back. Uh, so yeah, overall, I just thought this one was really sweet. Um, uh, this one is a 30 by 35 by 35. And then this is your color palette you're working with. A lot of muted, uh, tones, a lot of, you know, those classic eighties Florida colors. <laughs> um, some really bright blues, some browns, I'm guessing for the hair and clothes area and probably for the sand. Um, and then some, let me turn this around. I don't think these are, I think that's just regular white. I don't think it's tinted white. I mean, as far as like, you know, sometimes you get those whites that have like a hint of pink or a hint of green or something. I think this one is just like white, white, not the very bright white, but like the mid white. Um, so yeah, pretty fun palette overall. There's a little, some pops of yellow in there. I'm guessing that's going to be on the scarf and the earrings. Earrings might be a place where I could customize. I don't know. I don't know if I would really customize this one too much. Um, it, again, this is another one that's pretty much cute as it is. So yeah, that was it. Those are some random Amazon finds that I thought were super cute. I will link them down below if they are available and you're curious. And we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.